Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and the salt is so fucking heavy in the game right now. I'm telling you, people do not like to see other people make money. People don't like to see or hear about other people's success, right? They want to hate on you, they want to throw salt on the game, especially since Wi-Fi uh, hit $43,000 and um, also uh, everybody got the Uniswap airdrop. I mean, who people you got like $3,000 airdropped like people do not like to hear about other people's success and they'll do anything to salt the motherfucking game and, and, and not appreciate all, or even realize or understand all the hard work that went into um, getting to where they're at, right? And this is a lesson I should have included in my last video uh, as far as uh, secrets to success is you got to stop counting other niggas pockets. You gotta stop counting other niggas' pockets. It doesn't matter what another person does unless it affects you directly. It doesn't matter how much someone makes or loses or whatever, right? What you eat don't make me shit, right? So that's all. That's a loser mentality and that's how you'll stay broke is always trying to count other niggas' pockets, right? Because I got scammed, right? I got scammed by Brother Polite. Look on YouTube, Brother Polite, the con artist. I got scammed by being his mentee out of my father's life insurance, bro. I trusted him. I, I thought I knew what I was doing. I was, had the best intentions, you know, and this dude straight up lied to me, manipulated me, used me like he does everybody else. And most people, and when I came out and said it, people were fine. But most people laughed at me. Most people said, hey, da-da-da-da, uh, I feel bad for you, whatever. But all of a sudden, I get people comments, oh, what's your net worth, brother? What's your net worth, brother? Like, it didn't matter to you then when I said I was broke and I got I, I, just, I, didn't got, I got scammed, I was broke, I was homeless from the scam, but I, I, I told you I would bounce back from this crypto shit. And then once, once I bounced back, everybody got a problem with it. All of a sudden they offended that Crypto Roots is making money now, right? All of a sudden now people want to count my pockets, people want to, uh, I got to prove myself, I got to show my bank account, all this shit because like, this just comes from insecure, low status, beta males. Trying to stop a, other, a, a, a dude, a hard working, focused dude that's not gonna let anybody, anything, or anyone stop him for achieving his success, such as Crypto Roots or anybody else like that out here, right? So uh, let me show you. I got a quick, I got a comment. I wasn't even gonna make YouTube videos for a while, but I, this comment, I just, I'm not even upset at all. It made me laugh, uh, but I just have to show it. It's a learning lesson to everybody, right? So I got a comment on my Wi Fi 40K video. Wi Fi just crashed. And I'm like, you're on drugs, dude. Like, like I didn't even know what to say. He didn't tell me like what, like Wi-Fi just crashed. Like, could have said congratulations or whatever. How do I? Do, no, Wi-Fi crashed. Like, why would you care? Why would you stop? And so, and I'm the one kind of stone with little tripping, right? I'm, you know, so I'm, you're on drugs. Like, why would you do that? You know? Like, wow. Like, I didn't even know what to say besides you're on drugs. And then he immediately responds. So, did you sell at forty three forty three thousand dollars? Uh, why do you care, right? Uh, I just checked. It's twenty two k, twenty nine thousand dollars. Like, like it matters at the time when he checks, right? Did I sell, right? Oh, it's right, right now. It's twenty nine thousand dollars. It's on a downward trend. Doesn't want to buy the dip. Doesn't take advantage of the dip. Doesn't want to get in the game. But it's, it's on a downward trend. Like he's a fucking crypto analyst. So from two k when you bought in and you're still up. Uh, but it's losing value because all the real boy, big boys sold at 43,000. Like, he knows what everybody else did, and then he's calling them big boys, like, trying to say, I'm not a big boy, and that, like, dude, yo, it's, it's insane. If you only got one coin, that's not even a lot of money, right? You lost more, uh, you lost more than according to the previous video. Like, yo, this dude is trying to do, he's trying to count my pockets and do, like, his due diligence. Yo, this shit is nuts, man. It shows you how far ahead I am, like, just mentally, like, I, like, and how far behind other people are. Like, when I'm saying I'm doing the uh, Crypto Roots mentorship, I'm, t I'm trying to teach you how, no, he wants to go and try to say, I'm not, like, yo, this dude, I, I can't even get into it, just, and I just put laughing my fucking ass off, this broke ass nigga is trying to count my pockets from YouTube videos and the current market prices when he checks. Laugh a lot, you're on drugs, <laughs> you just made my day. Like, it's just insane, bro, people are so salty. They, they want to take more time trying to trying to count your pockets than even level up themselves. And this is the reality of it, man. This is the reality of the world and success is, you know, st just if anything, stay focused on your money, how to level up and, and don't ever, ever count another nigga's pockets. Right. Right. Because it does you it does you no good and it only slows you down it, and it it just shows how far you have, how much you haven't worked in life towards your own goals. Man, hit me up for the mentorship. Much love.
Take it easy. Peace.